So in this video we are drawing just a small winglet or something like that below these two flaps. So that's gonna be the job for today. For the next video we just have some fillets to do and we are done with this wing. So let's start with a top plane and we are making plane by 110 in top direction and another plane by top plane this time the dimension is gonna be 250 so two planes first plane we use for a first sketch and let's hide them both here in design tree okay now in this sketch we have to do two lines so one and to something like this now this left one is gonna be center line make sure that both points here are horizontal and same here distance between the lines is gonna be 5 and now from from center line to the let's use origin actually uh, to the origin horizontally we have 620 and from this uh, highest point of the nose till the first point we have 175 and the length of no let's do it like this from the point from the top point till the you same this point we have 700 so that's the first sketch done now we use the second plane we made and in this sketch we are gonna draw just a two point spline so first point of this spline is gonna be in this point of the previous sketch and the second point goes somewhere around here and the point of uh, the point of the spine and the point of the previous sketch is again horizontal and we can check that by making dimensions from point to point which is gonna be 525 five. and from the and from the point till this point we have 50 now we need to drag the handles of the spline this bottom one is gonna be vertical and this one is gonna be narrow to this direction so we add the angle between line and the handle we have 9 degrees the top handle distance is gonna be 750 and the bottom one is gonna be 500 okay so for this we are gonna use boundary surface so we go to surfaces boundary surface and direction one is gonna be this sketch and this one now let's look from the from behind like this and for this sketch that is uh, the top one so the top sketch is gonna be normal to profile by one and the bottom one is gonna be also normal to profile but here we're gonna add uh, more of this value of the tangency so that you'll see here how the shape is gonna be changed so we go 1.1 1.2 1.3 4 and 5 so you see the, how the how the shape of the spline has changed so here on the bottom we have more of normal to profile that that tangency that goes from the bottom and that's the surface done now what we have to do is to build one plane by right plane sorry and it's gonna be defined by this vertex here of the surface sketch on the plane and hide plane 
Also, I'm gonna hide our main solid body for this to be easy to see this surface, but because we are here drawing most of the most of the sketch we need. So we start with three point arc. Uh, make sure that this second point of the arc is uh, above above the left one. We need two points spline like this. Make sure also that this is going up also the second point and uh, again three point arc from this point to the edge something like this. Now let's first add dimensions so we have from this point to the origin vertically 167.5 and yeah make sure that this point is coincident with this edge. Okay now when that's done we have from the point till the edge 250 15 and from yeah let's bring up let's drag this like this and bring up this point so when we add dimension between this point and this one we have difference of 12.5 where the right point is above the left one radius for this arc is gonna be 450 and now let's proceed to the next. So be between this point and this one, vertically we have, I mean horizontally, sorry, 17.5. And between this point and this one, we have 99. Also make sure this point is gonna be coincident with this edge. The distance between this point and this one vertically 21.5 and the radius here is gonna be 250 now let's dr uh, drag the handles of the spline both going down and make them both vertical so the distance for left one it's gonna be 50 for the right one we have 90 now you'll see when we show our body now and we use our plane we used for this sketch and do a section on it like this you'll see why this sketch we just draw is having this uh, this shape and this dimension so it doesn't actually cross none of these um, two flaps it's not going up it's not gonna be visible on top of them it's just going through the middle and down you'll see now what I'm talking about let's disable the section view and hide the nose so when we get out of the uh, sketch and we trim our surface this top thing and now when we show our nose you see that nothing of that none of that uh, winglet is gonna be visible here on the top only from the bottom and what's left to be done is to use a mirror bodies to mirror to mirror this surface body on the right plane to have it also on this side Tick and commands by I think five. Yes, we can use this direction. So we are going to the. I think it sh it should go to the left like this. Okay, and make sure to merge results with this body. Let's just check is everything okay here. It seems that it is. 
Now, as I said, this is not a uh, hundred percent or something like that true rep representation of the real wing. This is just how I was able to see the wing from the images. And of course, we need the same tick here. Okay. Now, in this video, what's gonna be left to do? is to delete so go here to solid bodies click on this boss and press delete on keyboard click ok and also go to surfaces and delete all surfaces we don't need that geometry right now and that's the stuff about the wing done now what you can do actually is to play with this model and put all the fillets in inside of this model by yourself if you want if you don't want you can do it with me in my next video otherwise than that everything is actually being done and I think I'm gonna be uploading just a short video where I'm gonna show how to uh, add appearance to this part and then render it easily in a key shot so that was everything I hope you enjoyed and see you in my, some of my, my next videos.